Hi, we are Riga Wins. My name is Denis Pashkevich and this gentleman is... Dan Schiller. Yes. So, we are in Latvia and Riga right now. We travel a lot and, uh, uh, well, it's really hot outside. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but we are into the probably best uh, roastery, coffee roastery in the world. It's a rocket bean grocery, so we love to spend time here to dream, to drink coffee and to hang with our friends. But uh, this is a new thing, we're starting a vlog, so we will be regular and we would like to talk about the news on the Rigovin saxophone. So right now, in my hands, is uh, my working horse, we name it as a beast. Yeah, as a beast. This is my <laughs> friend, actually. Uh, this is Riga Wind's uh, custom Pashkevich signature model tenor saxophone. And I would like to ask Bern to tell you about it. Yeah, like you already see, on this one it's looking a little bit different like many ones which you have on the market. The two colors, you see something is different on the bell. Mm, it's, it's, it's a very important reason to get our sound, to get our vision of sound, to get our vision of music, to get our vision of art to art. Uh, it's made for nickel silver and uh, body and mechanic parts are all made from traditional brass, but special brass which is called HA80, which is a hard brass only to get in French at the moment. So all this combination give our special sound, which Dennis made me from his first experience now a few weeks playing on the horn and some people outside international everywhere small big stages. Dennis what, what, what was your feeling uh, if, if you work with this one? Well as I said it's my working course. Uh, uh, past month I've, I've just played in six jazz festivals uh, starting with uh, small rooms and ending with 30,000 people. I mean that's why I mentioned it because it's different rooms, it's a different feeling you need. I need a stable, professional, resonated horn instrument uh, uh, which is giving me resonance and enough light feel for playing different techniques on the horn, melodies, all registers. I had situations where I would like uh, I needed to play uh, like with strings, but on a huge stage. Uh, and uh, I really get back this feeling of the sound and a little, like tone. Tone was here. Also, I recently played for, as I mentioned, 30,000 people. It's a loud crowd, and I, I, I played up register, so it's third octave, B, uh, B flat, B, C, D, third octave. It's like loud and should be very precise situations. Horn is resonating. Very even and powerful. Good feeling, good feeling. Working works. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and that's combination, by the way. Yeah, that's the combination. That's our three different necks, which we also produce for our alto saxophone, which we talk in our So we have three different materials, starting with this rust, which is the same like the body on our horns, uh, which is called standard, standard neck or what, what, whatever. Uh, Second one, this one, it's in a copper, copper material on the tube, which gives a quite bright sound, bright sound, but still focused sound, and less uh, resistant to blow. And the third one is our third one, and our special one, it's in a nickel silver, same material like our bell. And for example, to explain a little bit this, this individual possibilities, Standard neck, then it's a start to try out the horn, play the first gigs on the standard yeah, yeah. neck. So with his setup, feel the horn. Then new we have made this nickel silver, which then is a take over and try it out and play it on the gigs. And now actually is his standard uh, setup. That is what 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 is different for you? Yeah, I, I could say that this this is like Indian is like we have stories about Indian instruments like Bansuri. You need time to, to start resonating on the horn. And this is this is very special neck. It's very special material. And in combination with this instrument, it, it gives you special tone. You you, you have this most darkest of the all uh, necks. Uh, it's dark, really dark, but still has 
this age, a like brighter age of the mountain, you know? The, the, so it's huge resonate, resonating sound with a little brightness on the top, but still very personal and dark. And I could say that really huge sound and these colors, a lot of colors in Wow. So impressive, impressive. It's my main <laughs> neck right now, actually. I travel a lot. With and it's sounding yeah, impressive. It. I keep it. I keep it. <laughs> okay, and. Um, yeah. Just to, 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 to our horns and to, to, to our ID to, to make the stuff. But of course, you have to try. So, next possibility to try our show it's, it will be in Ventspils, Latvia, yes. by Ventspils Groove Festival. I will be there, I'll Dennis be there. will be there, yes. Beast will be there, yeah. our next will be there, and the Altos will be there. So, you can try, you can come, we can chat. Because this means also have respect to each other, talk to each other, yes. work to each other. Exactly. Community. And to legacy of music, uh, we just got information that the uh, legendary trumpet player from Poland, Thomas Stanko, passed away. And uh, I would like to celebrate his life because he did enough good work as artist and human nature. Yeah. Uh, let's celebrate this in music, let's celebrate this in respect, love each other, and uh, let's continue as a musicians, as one family, one love. Yeah, see you on the next bit. Bye.